My name is Laura Lex and I love Christmas films. I think I like Christmas films because they represent a feeling I used to have about Christmas that I probably don't have anymore. Christmas films are quite a project for me around the Christmas <laughs> period. About November, I start my spreadsheet and I go through all of the dates <laughs> that I have available. Then I get all of the Christmas films I have access to. So I have a huge collection of physical DVDs, which because every year I get a couple of DVDs as an anniversary present from my husband. And then I check what new releases have been added to Amazon and, and Netflix and everything. Then I put them in order of how much I like them and allocate them a date so that the ones I like least start in November so that by Christmas Eve I'm watching my favourite ones. Now this is problematic for some people because it means that I watch the series ones out of order because I like Home Alone 1, well that's not true actually, I do prefer Home Alone 2, but Santa Claus. No one's watching Santa Claus 3 on Christmas Eve. I'm flexible to a point with it where I will change the order up a little bit if I'm hanging out with some people that want to watch one of the ones that I had saved for later. I'll switch it up, I'm not a monster. I do need to start thinning the herd because it, otherwise I'm gonna have to start watching these films around October. I would never ask anybody else to watch a straight to television Hallmark Christmas one. Although, you've missed some gems. Jonathan Taylor Thomas riding a sleigh down the main high street to get home for Christmas in time. You don't want to miss that. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, she kidnaps Mario Lopez and takes him back to her family because she doesn't want to be single for Christmas. And he gets Stockholm Syndrome and falls in love with her in time for Christmas. And, then, and at the end of it, everybody's like, yay, it was love all along. You go, no, it was several felonies and she treated him horribly through the whole film. For me, Die Hard is 100% a Christmas film because it's got all of the components that you need. Die Hard is the same as Home Alone in terms of the stakes. Like, you've got to deal with the baddies and it's all building up to Christmas Day. Like, Home Alone is, there's nothing that needs to get done by Christmas Day for Christmas not to happen. It's just that Christmas is the thing that, they're, that's gathered them and that's set the plot in the first place. And that's the same with Die Hard. He's back to celebrate Christmas. He's at a Christmas party. Then bad guys interrupt and it's um, finished in time for Christmas, even though no one was specifically aiming for that as much. There's like Christmas references all the way through it. Of course it's a Christmas film.